humongous shout out to the one and only snubs the freestyle king coming straight out of harlem this 10 minute q a was epic beyond measure find out what he thinks about mason dipset his rolling loud set in new york city and so much more let's jump right into this exclusive q a on attack the culture.com i'm gonna lie the feeling is definitely overwhelming and I feel like I'm blessed enough to let all my colleagues who actually was here with me on the way up actually get a ticket too. So I feel even more blessed and I feel like no one is left out. So I feel like the words is unexplainable, bro. I'm just all my dirt bike in the day is clear, clear, like clear in my mind. Like, yo, it's happening, man. It's going to be a point in time when I can't ride my dirt bike through the city because I'm too famous. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, I, I'm excited for you, man. And, and more than anything, Snubs, yo, like for people who want to, Get a chance to, you know, like, like get close to you, man. Really see you in person. What, what's the best day? What's the best time? Is that still up in the air, or can you give a little teaser? Um, I mean, you mean as far as me performing that role? Right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. People who want to look out for you specifically. Oh yeah, nah. For everybody that's looking out for me, I'm definitely on October 29th, this Friday. I'm going up. You feel me? I'm going crazy. I'm gonna be on the um audio max stage. Everything is a go. You already know. So. Once you want to pull up on me and see greatness, man, I'm going to be right there waiting for you. <laughs> yo, Snubs, yo, you got too many joints to perform, though. Obviously, I, I know the focus is on a loyalty is an action, but I mean, yo, uh, th there's so many joints. You got to perform Amsterdam. We're going to get into that in a second, man. But, yo, for everyone that's going to come out and check you out, man, uh, yo, is it some throwback stuff? Is it some freestyles? Is it joints off the new project? Um, Yeah, I'm not even going to lie. Most likely, you know, just to give you the whole full, full aspect, I'm definitely – performing most of loyalty is action for sure okay like i feel like i just dropped it it just came out everybody loves amsterdam everybody loves all of the songs on there most of them is on there for sure and i got a special guest coming out too man i can't let you know who it is. <laughs> Come to audio <laughs> yo, I'm excited for you, Snubs. And yo, yo, the, the thing that's so dope about you too, like I know a lot of people want to be like, oh wow, 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 yo, you're a new guy and all this, yo, Snubs. I know you've been putting in that work for a minute, man. Yo, I remember you when, when you had the flat joint, man. Yo, 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 you didn't even have the long hair, yo. You were bodying those Meek Mill uh, instrumentals, man. Yo, I, yo, you, you got no, so, no <laughs> yo, with no hair, man. Yo, yo, so it's just so dope to to see the come up really coming in, into fruition, man. So I want to just ask you, man, more than anything, um, you know, putting this project together, um, I, yo, when did you realize you had to make sure Amsterdam was on there? Because Amsterdam reminded me of who Snubs really is. Well, honestly speaking, I felt like Amsterdam was, was supposed to wait for my album. Okay. But I'm like, yo, no lie, Amsterdam represents exactly my avenue where I'm from. Yep. People always, I see in the comments, oh, auto-tune, auto-tune all day, bro. I have natural auto-tune in my natural voice. It sounds like I got it on right now. <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, yo, let me give them something so they can really, you know, shut up and just, you know, zoom into what's really important, which is the lyricism, man. And for them, give you that raw, uncut energy of who snubs really is. Not saying that me singing is not me, but this is really who I mainly is, bro. Like, I started off hardcore rapping before people told me, like, yo, you gotta make something for the females, you gotta make something for this. Mm -hmm. Before people told me to cater to all of these other sounds, the original format was definitely boom bap, hip-hop, you feel me? Yo, 100%, yo, if you had to pick one particular record snubs off of the project, man, that's like, yo, that should go to, I'm telling you, I thought it was left in the rain for me initially, then, then I came across Amsterdam, because I was just, I had it on shuffle mode, I was like, yo, whoa, whoa, this is snubs that I remember, man, and I, and I like right. the new flow. But for you personally, man, what's that one record that, like, yo, it, it just it, it hits differently? Hands down, I feel like I'm 10 for 10. Don't get it wrong. Okay. My favorite song on the whole tape is definitely Steaming. Nice. You, you, uh, the, the second joint off, off the project, right? Exactly. Steaming is that. I'm out in Bora Bora. The record's filling up more and more. Oh, my yep. God. I feel like. That one right there, bro, it just did it for me just because I know that was the last song that I actually really made for the project. My project is possible because I didn't put them out. I was just making songs for a project. We just hand selected from an unreleased basket, you feel me? And for me to make that song fresh off the press, and they made it with all of the songs that were made maybe last year or a year before, it's just like, man, it feel good to let people hear my new sound compared to, you know, Amsterdam and everything else. So, Steaming is definitely... My favorite hands down right Yo, now. absolutely. Yo, and I agree with you, man. Yo, 10 out of 10, uh, you know, 30 minutes. So, so it's just enough to kind of hold people over for a minute, man, especially as you piece together the project, man. Yo, yo, can, can you give any teasers about the project or you want everyone just to kind of, you know, chill with loyalties and action for a minute? 
Okay, yeah, well, basically, I feel like the whole project revolves, like, the title speaks for itself. Loyalty is an act that also revolves around my rollout plan. A rollout plan actually was for me to basically be loyal to my fans without just saying it, because, you know, everybody says loyalty is loyal first and family first and all of that. That's just dope. But for me to show that loyalty is an action, I actually drop a single every other week. I gave a week for the single to breathe, and I give them another one. Then I gave a week for the single to breathe, and I give them another one. That was a process that took all the way up to this body of work here. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I was being loyal to my fans. I saw the songs that go on the project. It was releasing songs. I didn't even make the project. So definitely loyalty is an action. Coming a whole body of work is definitely on actions for real and not just words. Yo, 100%, man. Yo, you definitely got some of the whole well, the whole Harlem background, man, because one thing that, that I always love, especially uh, getting a chance, you know, to, to talk to some Harlem folks, man, yo, is just the, the originality. Everyone just, it's almost like, yo, the way y'all Harlem guys saw, man, it's, it's almost fashionable words, man. I don't know whether it's the confidence. I don't know what it is, man, but, you know, one of my favorite people, Smoke Dizza, out there has always been flying, man. Of course, the whole ASAP mob, the, the, the Dipset crew. Definitely talk about those Harlem roots, man, and what it means to be coming out of Harlem and with the success. Now, I'm not going to lie, bro. It's a dope day being from Harlem, man. And I, it doesn't sound cheesy just to be saying, like, oh, yeah, the city life and all of that. It's just crazy knowing this is really like when swag was invented. Like, people here was wearing mink furs and stuff that people were wearing now before our time. And, you know, bringing the fashion together, us having Asian, even being a part of Manhattan and, you know, being part of the Fifth Avenue, you know, high fashion culture and everything, like, it's just a beautiful feeling to just know that you can do anything you want to do and you don't have to fall into a certain lane because you got all different type of people everywhere. But for Harlem, for the most part, it showed me that you can take whatever you want to do and just do it at the highest stature for sure. Nah, for sure. You know what's so dope about you too, Snubs, is, you know, I, I love the fact that, that, like, you can pay homage to, to the old heads and to the OGs, man, and, and then, like, you know, you're such still a new sounding artist at the same time, man, and then you got the freestyle right. game on lock, man. Uh, if you had to kind of put together, like, a Harlem Mount Rushmore, man, because there's so many legends, and, and then, like I said, you got so many new artists as well, man. Kind of who's up there, man? Who kind of molded, um, you know, uh, your, your inspiration uh, to, to do this thing? Oh, well, number one big inspiration off the rip is definitely Big L. Yes. So R.I.P. to Big L. You know, I really kind of started rapping, seeing his freestyles on YouTube. Like, damn, this man was going crazy. Yep. Like, he didn't look physically fit. He didn't look like bro, looking strong or nothing. But his words made me feel like, yo, if I play around with him, I might be in some trouble, you know, and I like <laughs> this wordplay. So Big L was definitely on the Mount Rushmore. Cameron is on the Mount Rushmore. Jim Jones, Joel, you know, the whole dip set era. For yep. sure, you know, um, who else? Um, I also will probably give a shout out to um, Bloodshed from the East Side. Yep. From First Avenue, you know, um, who else is a big motivation from Harlem? Um, mainly those are the only real rappers, but I got a lot of inspiration from a lot of people, who, you know, like that do dirt bikes and stuff like that that just made my lifestyle be able to make me be able to talk about it. Like seeing people rap, that was a lot of inspiration, and, but it's different. My motivation for me to start rapping was from all of my accents and it took for me to be built up to this person. You feel me? So those are people I definitely listen to when it come up as my mom rush for my Yo, home. absolutely. And yo, so yo, let me ask you, man, yo, kind of what is the viewpoint of Mace, man? Because I always, you know, I know it's like love and hate, man. Is he like the MC Hammer of Harlem or is it like, yo, always respect Mace for, for putting a lot of people on, especially Cam and the guys, man. Yo, kind of your take on Mace. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It's not like it's not like a left Mace side of it. Let me let me put I can put Mace on the on, okay. on the on the rush board too. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It ain't like I forgot about him, but I definitely know Mace put out a big impact on the city. And I just personally feel like he definitely changed the way too. You know, from the whole bad boy movement. You know, PD. Mm -hmm. You know, like I mean, they definitely paved the way, man. Yo, snubs. Sure. What Yo, absolutely, man. Yo, a few more things for you, man. Then I want you to get back to having some fun out there, man. Yo, talk about your work grind, man, because I, I think that that's so underrated about how hard you work, man. And I, I you make it look so easy, but I just see all the videos, I hear all the songs, I hear the freestyles. Yo, you, you're in the barber shop putting down bars, man. Like, yo, there's no slowing you down, man. Yo, give us an idea just how much work you put into this life, man. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. So my work process, I feel like it takes a lot of hard work and, uh, you know, dedication and not giving up. You feel me? I feel like. At the end of the day, it looks easy, but, you know, behind the scenes, I have a whole team who I'm grateful for who helps me get pushed to the forefront, and they understand what it takes to be behind someone. So 
yeah, I got to work hard myself. Yeah, I got to stay hard with that and grind. But I also got to tilt my hat to my team, man. 100 M's. Definitely inspire me every day to keep pushing, even when the times I feel like giving up. So I got to give all of that to my team because before accomplishments and things are coming through, they still were showing me that support, you know? And there you have it. Once again, humongous shout out for Snubs coming through on an exclusively dope Superfire Q&A. As always, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, hit the like button, and stay tuned. We have some more gems from this exclusive Q&A with the one and only Snubs.